I'm here with the Right Honourable Professor Apollo Nisibambi, the Prime Minister of Uganda. Welcome. I'd like to ask you, what are the major educational challenges you face in Uganda? Uh, they include um, the quality of education and accessibility. So those are the two major ones. Uh, the staff-student ratios are still high. Uh, for example, in primary, it is one teacher to 60 pupils. That's very high. But as we get resources, we shall reduce um, <coughs> the, the, the staff-pupil ratio uh, because this um, affects the quality of education. And you're making good progress with Education for All? We are, because um, since we introduced it, it, it has not been compulsory, but uh, it rose from 2.5 million to 7.5 without using any form of uh, force, as it were. Mm -hmm. So we are doing extremely well. And I was going to ask, what are some of the educational achievements you're most proud of? Uh, introduction of the universal primary education and we have now also embarked on universal secondary education. Those are major achievements. Mm -hmm. mm. And what do you see as the potential for open and distance learning in Uganda? Well, uh, at Makere University it, it has been taking place but there's now a lot of potential because all these numbers uh, will require the um, facilities of open distance education. Mm -hmm. hmm. And um, talk a little bit about why it's important to have conferences like this Pan Commonwealth Forum on Open Learning. Well, exchange of experiences and acquisition of knowledge uh, today we have had major lectures and experience. Those are the two major ones. But also we, we, we come across new friends. So these are major, um, ex uh, these are major advantages of attending conferences of this nature. Mm -hmm. mm. And next year the modern Commonwealth celebrates its 60th birthday mm -hmm. and Commonwealth education ministers come together for their 50th anniversary meeting. What do you think the association's priorities should be in the area of learning for development? Well, uh, first of all, we need to put emphasis on affordable technology. Affordable technology. We need also to ensure that uh, conflict resolution uh, becomes part of our syllabus. This is a major issue uh, to consider. And of course, uh, terrorism. Terrorism is now a global problem, which we have to address. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you very much. Welcome.